How do you feel about your sub, Sam? What's up, guys? Welcome to another video. Today is Saturday, January 20th. We're about to go get an arm and shoulder workout in. Let's get it. So before I leave, I'm going to have a scoop of the Ghost Legend. This is the Fruit Punch flavor. So I'm going to take one scoop of this and I'll see you at the gym. Alright YouTube, today I'm going to take you through my arm and shoulder workout. Uh, let me know what type of workout videos you guys like, whether you want me to comment like this or do an edit, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys like. Um, but me and my friend Sam, we started out with alternating dumbbell curls. And so you want to keep the weight to where you can get 10 to 12 reps on each arm. Uh, make sure you're really hitting that hypertrophy rep range and making sure you're going for tone and size over strength if that's what you're looking for. And you want to keep your rest periods low in between sets. And so we did four sets there, and then we went to barbell 21s. And so here you want to do seven reps on the bottom half of the full range of motion, seven reps on the top half, and then seven full range of motion reps. And this will really help you hit that hypertrophy. And again, you can see us using the 30 pound uh, barbell there. So you want to keep your weight low and really make sure you're getting those 21 reps. And then we went to a preacher curl. And here you want to make sure you're keeping your triceps attached to the pad. Make sure you're not letting your shoulders lift off the pad. And make sure you're getting a full extension of the biceps. That's the only way you can really get those biceps to contract and tear down and get that size put on yourself. And then after that, we went to a cable curl. And here we did four sets yet again, uh, keeping it in that 10 to 12 rep range. And you can see that I'm supinating my arms, making sure my wrists turn towards my face. That helps you get the full contraction of the bicep. And then we moved to triceps. We went with a tricep dumbbell extension. And so we did four sets here. And then we went to a tr cable pushdown. And we did four sets here, superseted with the cable, I guess, push away. I don't know what you'd really call uh, the exercise here when I turn around. but. You want to make sure you're turning your elbows outwards, make sure you're pushing those wrists out to get that full contraction of the tricep, make sure you're really tearing down that muscle. And you should feel sore after every single one of these workouts, and that's the only way you know that you're tearing down these muscles. And then we went to a tricep extension, and we supersetted this with our first shoulder workout, which is a shoulder press, uh, but we did the shoulder press in 21s and so we did seven bottom half seven top half seven full range reps and here again you want to keep your weight to where you can get those 21 reps but just barely you can see Sam struggling here to get all 21 reps and then we went to lateral raises for shoulders here you want to make sure you're keeping your elbows slightly bent make sure you're getting that full range of motion your shoulders going all the way up parallel to the ground and you want to superset this with a dumbbell raise and on the dumbbell raise there's two ways you can do it you can keep it you can keep your palm face down like I'm like you see here and that really focuses on the anterior deltoid or you can turn your palm upwards and that'll hit a little bit of the upper chest as well if you're doing this workout on your chest shoulder try day and uh, my split really varies but today we just did arms and shoulders and so that was my workout I'll see you guys next time Good morning YouTube and welcome to a full day of eating. It is currently 12 o'clock. You know one of the advantages of college is you can get up at 12 o'clock and no one says anything. When I'm at home it's like 9 o'clock and my mom goes, Pratik, get up, go do some work, you gotta do stuff around the house. And I'm like, seriously? It's 9 o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, but I'm so screwed for my 8am tomorrow. Meal one. I'm gonna have myself an up 
Along with the up, I'm going to have a fish oil, and I'm going to have myself a multivitamin. And as always, you got to have that agua. So that's meal number one. I'm going to go do some homework while you guys sit there and watch me do it. Fast forward it. finished my homework. Uh, it's currently 2.15 and I'm gonna have myself a protein shake. I have these Premier Protein already ready. It has 30 grams of protein, uh, only one gram of sugar, 160 calories. So I'm gonna have one of these and I'll see you guys at the next meal. What's up guys? I'm on my way to grab uh, meal number three. Uh, I'm heading to Chick-fil-A. Actually not far from where I live. Uh, about a five minute walk but on my way there while I'm walking there I want to take the time to talk to you guys about the type of dieting that I do I do a dieting style called IIFYM it's called if it fits your macros so I eat whatever I want as long as it fits my macros so today my macros are 200 grams of carbs 160 grams of protein and 40 grams of fat so I'm trying to eat as healthy as possible but sometimes but the college life doesn't happen that way. And so, I'm on my way to Chick-fil-A, gonna get two grilled chicken sandwiches. Uh, those fit my macros really well. They have like 30 something grams of carbs, 30 something grams of protein, and they're very low in fat. Just eat whatever I want as long as it fits my macros. And I think that's the best way of dieting because it doesn't really restrict your lifestyle. Uh, you can have fun, go out with friends, eat wherever you want. So I think that's the best way of dieting. And so. I'll see you guys at Chick-fil-A. It's currently four o'clock. I got my Chick-fil-A. Uh, this is meal number three. Let's get it. All right, guys, it's six o'clock. I'm about to make my pre-workout meal. Uh, we're gonna do some legs today because I got chicken legs and I, I need to put some size on those. But yeah, for my pre-workout meal, we're gonna have some of the uh, Quaker high fiber maple and brown sugar oatmeal. This is where that boys, the maple and brown sugar. Don't you ever tell me any other flavors better. Maple and brown sugar, high fiber oatmeal uh, with the little white haired weird looking man on the front yeah we're gonna do one packet of the oatmeal with some lovely milk uh, you know what we're gonna do in addition to the oatmeal we're gonna have some some strawberry protein this is the uh, metabolic nutrition muscle lean this is the best tasting protein of all time uh you know why that is because it's got like 13 grams of fat in it i don't know if you can see that Focus. There we go. It's got like, no! Okay, there we go. It's got like 13 grams of fat in it. And that's why it tastes so good, boys. But yeah, the metabolic nutrition strawberry protein. A little shake, a little tingle. I'm on my way to the gym. I'll see you guys there. We made it to the gym. Today's a leg workout, as I said before. Uh, let's get it. What's up, guys? I just finished my workout. About to head to Schlotzky's and get myself a sandwich there. Uh, gonna have that for dinner along with the strawberry protein shake I made before I got here. So, uh, see you guys at home. Whoa, we made it home. 
So for dinner today, I have a zero-fat Chobani Greek yogurt, a small turkey and guac sandwich from Schlotzky's, my strawberry protein shake, and the sweet taste of Diet Dr. Pepper. So it's currently 9.45 at night. I just finished eating. Uh, I got back from the gym about a half hour ago, so it hasn't been too long. But that was my full day eating, you guys. Again, to see if it fits your macro style of dieting. Uh, I basically ate whatever I wanted to eat today. Uh, try to keep it as healthy as possible. Don't go eating like cookies and brownies all day long, but uh, try to keep it as healthy as possible. Make sure you're hitting those macros. And uh, I'll be putting my macros right here for the day. I think I hit like 200 grams of carbs, 151 grams of protein, and 40 grams of fat. So uh, I was really close to hitting my numbers today. Your numbers don't have to be exactly spot on, but try to get as close to those as possible. Uh, and so be sure to hit that like button down below if you really like this video. Push it real good. Push it. Push it real good. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much.